Traveling Mail.com. Well, we've had a couple false starts so far. Uh, yesterday, we had a glorious day. Down, we drove about an hour, two hours west, east of here, uh, through Exmoor, and uh, did a great hike through the woods and out to the coast along these narrow roads, beautiful scenery, and I left my camera on the shelf. So this morning, we are gonna go get the boys out of the house and just uh, pop down to the high street, to the shops, as they say, and find a book or two and maybe a couple other things and then see what we can, uh, what we can find. We've got this great apartment, it looks out over the ocean here. Uh, you can see these are like four story buildings. We have the top floor of one. Uh, but what's really cool is out here, we have this village green, so to speak. I guess that's what you call it. And in the village green, we have sheep just munching away. The streets here are tiny compared to US standards and it's very difficult for me to get my head around the whole driving on the left sort of thing, but uh, no other option really. Tell me what's going on. Um, basically, we're clapping um, our hands on the circle, and the sound waves bounce off the rock and come back sounding like a squeak. Dad, you should try it. That was called the clapping circle. We've climbed up to this hill where there's a big flag. We can see it from our, our uh, house. And the boys are running around, the sun is shining, the grass is green, green, green. And it's just a great day. It feels like it should be the afternoon because the sun's so low, but it's really only about 11.30 in the morning. Uh, hopefully I've, I'm in focus here, but you can see behind me this just rugged coast. It is gorgeous. Yesterday, the wind was just cranking. It was almost like Livingston, maybe a little bit more. There's these giant waves crashing in, spray, and everything was roiled up and brown. It was really, really cool. Um, but this morning is pretty, a little bit of wind, but pretty calm, and just a beautiful, beautiful day to be outside. And we're psyched to be here. So, still got a little bit of work to do, but I think that can wait.
it's really cool from this vantage point to look back at the town and to look back at where we stay, which is up there somewhere. I have no idea if I'm pointing at the right place. Uh, but also just to see these jagged rocks with the surf coming down and uh, the light and shadows and it's just really incredibly dramatic. And then to go down here, walk towards the town again and see all these, I don't know, Britishness, all this British coastal town. It's, I don't know, it's, it's really cool. And I love it. That's our apartment right up there. And these are not our sheep. All right, well, Went back, did a little bit of work. Melinda and Anders went for a bit of a walk. And now Finn and I are going to go down and meet them at the pub and have a pint, as they say, or as I like to think they say. So, here we go. The bar we we're going, or the pub we we're going to, uh, is called the Prince of Wales. And yesterday evening we went to the George and Dragon, Green Dragon. Anyway, that was established in 1360, the oldest pub in Ilfracombe. Uh, so tonight, or this evening, I guess, we're going to try something new. It's right next door, so it's probably pretty similar. Mm -hmm. 